Yo, yo, the daily away world. It's your boy John checking in. You know, I'm finna touch on some. Uh, I've been I've been getting a lot of feedback in my inbox talking about what's a good pomade to use for woofing. Now I want recommend pomade on any occasion, but when you woofing, you're gonna need something for holding power, you know, to keep to keep your progress in and, your, you know, everything spinning and the way you need it to be. So <clears throat> what I think is good for the process anyway, going past four or five weeks is, first of all, you're going to need conditioner, which is, I use, like I said, the half food, Blue Magic. You're gonna need moisture, the world's best curl enhancing smoothie. And I'm just gonna show y'all a couple pomades that I think is good for woofing, but it's not good to use pomades seven days a week. Maybe when you're woofing, you, you should use pomades like maybe two or three days out the week or do it like every day or every other day or every two days or however you think is good for you. But I think this wave builder beeswax pomade is good. Good holding power, you know, real light stuff, but it's it lives up to its name as far as whole holding power. So it's I think this is good for woofing. The super wax pomade night form, you know, extra holding, powerful, hard to wave hair, but still is good for woofing. Um, it's another wave builder, pomade, natural wave, pomade, healthy wave form. This real good too, as far as holding power, you know, but the thing about pomades is the reason why people say they don't use them because some guys they over they overstate what they supposed to do with pomades. Just because it's pomade don't mean you're supposed to pack your hair with it because if you use pom if you use too much pomade, you won't give your hair time to breathe and give your scalp time to get healthy or whatever the case may be as far as you your shit go. And another pomade is Wave Builder, Cocoa and Shea Pomade, smooth super smooth and rich. It's again, it's real good for holding, but not if you use too much. Okay, another one is the Murray's, which is, it's still a whole lot of this in here because I rarely use this, but this is good for woofing too, like if you, I think five or six weeks, when your hair is starting to get out of control, Murray's is good. Another one is good is Dax. Wave, wave and groom in the red can and sporting waves in the gold can. Those are good for when you're going through your process also for woofing. Now the do-rags that I recommend for woofing is the silk. The real silky do-rag, real good. You know, it's, you ain't got to worry about, you, you know, when you put your when you put it on, you got the, the hair sticking up and all that right there. This is a real good do-rag. The strings on it is real long. And plus, when you use it, you know, it it can, you can take it off, brush, do what you got to do and put it back on. And it'll still have the same effect it was as you had, as it had before when you put it on. So, like I said, Woofing, you're going to need everything as far as keeping your hair healthy. Like I said, you're going to need moisture with the Curl Enhancer Smoothie. You can get this from Walgreens for like $9 or $10. You're going to need conditioner, Blue Magic Hair Food, and plus, like I said, all the pomades. Now, please don't get this, don't take this the wrong way. I never said you can't use pomades, but don't use them 
on an everyday basis. It's not good to use pomades every day because, like I said, you don't give your hair time to breathe, your scalps, roots, and all this other good stuff right here. Now, with that being said, I'm out.